Alright, this is how to wire up a Dragonlink UHF system to the Spectrum DX7S radio. So coming out of your Dragonlink here, you have three wires. You have the black one, which is negative, the middle one, red, which is positive, and this bottom, like, yellow-orange one is carrying your PPM. So I have this coming down, relaying just through a, uh, a servo connector here. And then here's the setup that you need to make. This is a uh, this is a 3.5 uh, millimeter mono plug for stereo, and you need to use this because that connects here into the back into the trainer port of your DX7S. And then I also have a Dean's connector here because that is going into the battery to uh, power the the uh, Dragon Link, and this is a two cell lipo. Uh, yeah, 7.4 volt two cell lipo. So, what you need to do is that you need to wire this up uh, so that this this uh, yellow orange wire here, just carrying PPM, is going to the wire in here, which is carrying your signal. Which in my case was the uh, was an orange wire. So when you open this up, I'll attach some pictures here, you will have an outer wrapping which is carrying your negative, uh, your negative or your ground. And then you open that up and there's two wires in the middle. There's a red, which is carrying your positive, which you're not going to use here, and your orange, which is carrying your PPM signal or audio for this, but we're going to use it for PPM, and you're going to use that. So that orange or yellow wire is going to wire directly to this orange or yellow wire, whatever color you want to call it, in here, nothing to do with the Deans. And the positive here is going directly to the positive right here on the Deans, and it's not being wired to this. But then the negative here, the ground, is going to negative on your Deans and that negative wire here, that outer wrapping. So that has three connections there. I hope that makes sense. Then once that's hooked up, you always want to have either antenna or the dummy load on your Dragon Link. Then you are going to hook this directly into the back of your DX7S, which will turn it on automatically. And for me, it says Slave FPV 40XL. Then I am going to get my two cell and hook it up on here. All right. Now on the Dragon Link, this is the version that I have. I am getting a solid green light. <clears throat> To confirm that this works, here's my Dragonlink receiver over here. That's just a different antenna I'm testing the system with. I have it all hooked up. I'm going to hook up this. Here is the servo. It bound. I've already bound this. I'm not going to go through binding here, but you can see it works. And that is that. Um, I hope this helps out there for those of you with the DX7S. Uh, it works great with the Dragon Link, and I've range tested this thing, and I'm going to start flying with it as soon as I can. Alright, thanks for watching.